They did a fantastic job. It's what Ordnance Survey is always about. We always do the best possible job. If that takes seven men and 200 pounds worth of equipment and 20 days and a whole military operation to achieve the result, that's what they used to do. And you know they got the best result possible. And as, we, as we've shown using the modern equipment, it's, they've got very close to that. So it's, uh, it's an amazing testament to, to their achievement. Originally it was 20 nights, I think, every night for 20 nights. And I think they only got three good observing sessions on those nights. So yeah, it's a, a massive difference. They had to take equipment such as this up and down Ben Nevis. This probably weighs 40 or 50 pounds on its own. And of course they had car batteries, tripods, lamps, torches, etc. to take up with them. So all in all about 200 pounds of equipment. Okay, so this is a Cook and Troughton Fjordlite. In its day, the most accurate piece of kit that the surveyors had. You had to be synchronised with the other teams that were on the other mountains at the same time. From Ben Nevis, they would probably observe three or four other hills that the, uh, in one round of observations, all of which would have either triangulation pillars or tripods with lamps set up on them. And the observations would be taken and recorded many times over to enable a, a mean observation to be calculated from the top of Ben Nevis.